Hi students, in the last chapter, you know we studied about the physical properties of metals. We studied for example that metals are lustrous, that they are hard and strong, that they conduct heat and electricity. We studied all these physical properties. In this chapter, we are going to study about the reactions of metals with different substances. For example, what happens when metals are heated in air? Well, we are going to find out in this chapter. Similarly, what happens when metals react with water? Scientists have observed that a certain gas is formed. What gas is this? You know, is it formed for all metals? Similarly, we are going to find out what happens when metals react with acids. Scientists say that metals dissolve in acids. But is this true for all metals? We are going to study about that too in this chapter. This chapter is thus about the chemical properties of metals. Let's proceed and understand exactly how metals react with air, water, acids and other chemicals. Let's proceed. So there, let's first begin with the reaction of metals with air. What happens when a metal reacts in air? Well, you see air contains oxygen and nitrogen, isn't it? Oxygen forms 21% of the air and nitrogen forms 79% of the air. However, the nitrogen in the air is mostly inert, so metals don't react with it. They however react with the oxygen of the air to form a special compound called a metal oxide. Understood? So if you take a metal and if you heat it in air, if you try to burn it in air, in that case, the metal will combine with the oxygen of the air and it will form a metal oxide. So this is the standard reaction, you know, that occurs when a metal reacts in air. Understood? So this is something you must remember. Now metals react with oxygen to form metal oxides. But all metals don't react at the same rate. Some metals react very fast, very vigorously. Some metals react slowly. And there are some metals which don't react at all. Let's look at some common metals and see how they react with oxygen. Let's take a look at sodium and potassium. You know, in the figure that you're seeing on your screen, this block here, this metal block, is a block of sodium. Sodium explodes with a bang when it is made to react with oxygen. Did you know that? Sodium and potassium both burst into flames when they are heated in air. That's because they are so extremely reactive. Understood? So this is how sodium and potassium react. They form oxides, but they form oxides by reacting almost explosively in air. Understood? In fact, sodium and potassium samples sometimes react even at room temperature with oxygen. So they don't even have to be heated. Again, here are the reactions of sodium and potassium with oxygen. As you can see, Na, that is sodium solid, combines with oxygen gas to form sodium oxide. The formula for sodium oxide is Na2O. Similarly, potassium, here, with the symbol K, combines with oxygen to form potassium oxide. So these two metals react explosively with oxygen to form sodium and potassium oxides. One interesting thing you should note here is that both sodium and potassium oxides are extremely basic oxides. What this means is that, you know, if you take moist litmus paper and bring it near sodium oxide or potassium oxide, then red litmus paper will turn blue. Understood? So that is how we come to know, you know, that sodium oxide and potassium oxide are basic oxides. In general, the oxides of metals are basic oxides. There are some exceptions, of course, but otherwise, metal oxides are basic oxides.